Где? Okay, but seriously, hey guys, name is Fen playing Memoirs of a Dead God. Let's begin the game, and I shall inform you on the setup text. This mission is set just after the events of Thief One. Lord Morigo is one of the more reclusive of the city's nobility. He's rich, but he's never had any one item valuable enough to be worth the risk of robbing him. This is all about to change because word on the underground tells me he'll shortly be receiving a mysterious book from sources abroad. There are wild rumors it's a pagan magic book bound in human skin, but I've not heard anything concrete. This item must be phenomenally valuable, though, because it's being transported with an escort of armed guards. I'm no highwayman, so my best chance will be after the book has arrived. This may also pose a problem, because the paranoid Lord Morigo is having a brand new vault constructed underneath his house using new mechanist technology. It seems some inside information couldn't hurt, so I'll be casing the joint before the vault is finished to try and get some tips on how to break in. Once I've figured out the best way to get in, I'll make my plans for the night Lord Morgo is throwing a party for the city's nobility. All right. Close the laptop there. Let's just get started. So, find some information about the vault, I guess. So, uh, don't knock anyone and don't let anyone know we were here. In other words, a forced ghost. I think it's not a forced ghost on normal. It's optional. But I'm going to do it anyways, because whatever the heck. And don't kill. Annotate 90% of the house. Yeah, cool, cool version of casing the joint. Oh, seven secrets. Wow, okay. Now, this thing recommended... The enhancement pack. I'm pretty sure I've got it installed here, but I can't really tell the difference. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, play in a game. It's pretty fantastic. For some reason, there's a big old vault door there, and man, it's, <laughs> it's like I like Thief 3, you don't get me wrong, but uh, that constant saving and loading kind of wears on you and, and other things. So it's nice to be playing an engine that I can abuse the heck out of all, oh, I said, heck yes, and it's not F6, it's some other key, and, 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 uh, you know, and, 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 and act like a boss and not get challenged by anything ever, even when I'm ghosting, this is the fastest running sewer in the west, it's rocking in, in Athlon Thunderbird, it's pretty fast, so if I was thin, I could go down there, but I'm not thin, so on last and a lack a day and a lack a month, I shall apparently not even be trying. Now, I don't remember too much about this little two mission campaign thing here. Spoiler, there's two missions. I think there's two. I don't think there's a third. I don't know, anyways. But uh, I do remember it being kind of neat, and I remember enjoying it. So that's why I finally decided to give it a big ol' let's play right now. So let's go forth and annotate. Oh man. Oh man, that's pretty cool looking. So, the Lord Morego or Morgo or Lord Chevy Ford Montego or whatever the hell frickin' Monte Carlo thing is, is a guy with a book that's extremely valuable. So, go and do a thing to him, and <laughs> I feel like a god. <laughs> I love saying that, because uh, I'm sneaking about in a foreign film. A secret room. Because these guys are so unbelievably easy compared to anything newer. So, uh, yeah. And I'll be playing the dark mod, but I've been advised multiple times to wait until 2.0, which, you know, fall, so maybe a couple months. I've said that already, but anyways, yeah. But in, until then, I shall be doing some other things. So already, I'm running out of things to say, so I should stop dawdling around this place and just go in. But I, I can't decide how to get in. Wow. Wow! That's a good statement, little fan. Oh! Well, okay, he's sleeping. But I can read permanently without any fear of being discovered because it freezes. Log entry 476. Wall duty again. That Captain Turgan just doesn't like me, that's what it is. What did I ever do to him? Every night this week I've been up here in the bone-chilling wind, pacing up and down, and for what? No bugger's gonna break in here, at least until the Lord's Vault is finished and stocked with valuables. If I get that new Monier disease the doctor was talking about, I shall get myself a lawyer with my savings and sue the Captain for all his money. 
I wonder how much lawyers cost. Monier disease? Is that... <laughs> is that like a zombie disease, or is he mispronouncing something? I can't... I can't quite think. I'm, I'm bad at that, you understand. Could I have just climbed this... Apparently so. Oh man, multiple paths, that is unheard of in a thief game. So I guess the cycler just cycles around. He is avoiding pollution and clearing clogged arteries, as a strange poster says, but... By poster, I mean like sign. So I get started with two rope arrows already. I like being started with rope arrows. It immediately gives you the sense that you are in fact... What? Is this metal? That was a clang and not meant to happen. Ah, oh, failed the ghost. Oh, oh, a fail. Oh, that's odd. I thought there'd actually be something here, but perhaps it's just to hide from the walker who should be coming around here any minute. Except he isn't. That's that's good by me. So I, I guess I could go in this door here, which is probably the only one I can go in. So let's get to it. And get to it. Oh man. So classic. You can almost smell the stench of old classic. And I can't knock out anybody. Wednesday the 3rd, I finally plucked up the courage to write a note to my dear sweet Timothy. He's such a pretty young thing. He makes my heart pound in my ears whenever I see him. I would like nothing more than for him to ravish me with all his vigorous youthful energy. Okay, lady. But what if he refuses me, shuns my advances? He might be put off by my age. Mm. Well, if he does turn down the offer of my fiery passion, I know of a gigantic turd which isn't going to clean itself! Wow. Oh, it, it, uh, huh? I shit. Surrendered. <laughs> Women right. Welcome to Sexist Land, featuring me and... yeah. Also, I think she did that leg spin thing when she got up. Who's there? I Money. Maybe it's the enhancement pack that does it, huh? Help! Or maybe it's Taffer Patcher. Which did a thing. Man, I don't know. I don't like installing packs. If you're gonna put a pack with a mission, just put it with a mission. And also, I don't even have to freaking... I, I can reload on camera is what I'm trying to say here. No sword with which to slash banners. Those are that's a big old shame. But yeah. Another thing that isn't a big old shame. I love the idea of mapping out a map. Over there. It doesn't get done often enough. I say, oh yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, geez, I have to be clever and... and, and, and be clever. But... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Damn, nope. Oh man, reloading on camera's great! Oh, master of the wrong man, thief! So, yeah. Can't go this way. Can't go this way, this must be the armory. What? Right. Um. Okay. I think I may have to check with some technicals here. No, apparently that's an actual <coughs> original bug. And <laughs> he, he remembered to make it locked and unpickable, but he didn't remember to make it so. <laughs> but I'm not going to go in here because I'm not supposed to. So, so, yeah, I like to play Thief the way I'm meant to play Thief, because thieves have all kinds of rules that they abide by, such as there are no rules and anything to allow me to steal a thing. Th those are two of the things that a thief might say. I am a good writer. Whoa. Well, now... Wednesday 3rd. The preparations are going according to plan, both for the party and my lord's new vault. The serving staff have barely let up getting everything ready. I'm not so sure about these mechanists, though. They are threatening to install some of those metal faces here to help with security. Put us out of a job, more like. So what if they don't sleep, eat, or need paying? I'd rather have a couple of good men at my back than those metal contraptions any day of the week. Well, good for you, my lord, sir. No. Also, apparently you can get accidental alerts all the time, so I'm just gonna hard save up the place. Oh, well, oh, this is, this is, this room. Hopefully AIs don't turn lights back on. Maybe they do. I know of one mission where it's based entirely around that, and surprisingly, it was actually kind of fun. Crazily enough. 
It's by Andros, and if you can guess which mission it is, I will say... I'll reply to you in the comments, praising your knowledge, maybe, but that's not a guarantee. I'm just saying things. Right, so... Still in this hallway here, and uh, for some reason... Here's the armory. I don't know what that is. Possibly no room at all. Possibly. But possibly so, because there's two doorways here. What ho, said the thing with five enormous skulls on its head. This looks like a servant's quarter. Or servant's dollar. I'm Ronald McDonald, and I say very hilarious things to entice children to get fat. But it's better than enticing them to get in debt. Uh, it is. I mean, seriously, what are you laughing at? The Diary of Nathaniel Rubinger III. How much more of this job can I take? Back at Father's Mansion, the guards always seem contented. But the reality is, it is the most n mind-numbing, stupefying occupation one could ask for. There's no intellectual stimulation. <laughs> I feel trapped in an ocean of idiocy, for only idiots seem to take up the guarding profession. Take that clumsy oaf of a man, Benny. Mother would probably say he has been marinated for rather too long. Alo uh, 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 aloha. Ha <laughs> ha. Do such revolting drunkards really deserve to live and work in the same place as decent upstanding people? He's clearly an alcoholic, though he claims to have given it up. And he snores like Uncle Rumbold after a bottle of sherry. And just when you think he's going to stop, he starts muttering about his overshoes in his sleep. <laughs> My overshoes, where did I go? Honestly... Why did father have to go and bankrupt himself and reduce me to working with this rabble? I haven't had a decent conversation in months. If I could only be rid of that cretin Benny. I have it! The night of the party, I shall ensure I pour a bottle of the Lord's prized vintage wine all over the fool's bed. He shall be instantly dismissed, and I shall again be able to sleep in peace. <laughs> he is an artist, of course, and I obviously quite admire him. Oh, Benny's diary. Wednesday. Well, it is now one month exactly since well, since I last had a drink. I feel better than ever, and I could actually hit the target during target practice now. It's also helped me hold down this job. Lord Morrigo doesn't know much about my drinking habit, and so I've not had any prejudice. I feel like a new man, and I hope the captain recognizes it. The only one I don't like here is Nathaniel. He's always looking down his nose at me like I'm some piece of dirt. He's better because his father was a rich man and was going to send him to school and everything to learn. But then he got bankrupt and Nathaniel had to leave the school and get a guard job. Julian told me all about it. I do feel sorry for him, but he shouldn't take it out on the rest of us. I think he got in it. I think he's got it in for me in particular because of the rumors that I'm a drunkard. I hope the past is behind me now and I can make a fresh start here. I'm only dreading the party coming up because there will be lots of booze and I'm not very strong-willed. Anyway, I've written enough for one night so I better get back to patrolling the guard. <laughs> a guard is not a unicorn without grace and you'll... Beauty. Anyhow, that is that room, and now my map is properly filled out on that side. I am quite pleased with this development. Oh, yes, that's that room there. Oh, shit. Shit buggers. Cox. I've been seen. Maybe. Thought I saw something. Man had Benny voices hard to do consistently because your throat gets dry all the time and you have to drink. But I ain't gonna drink because I don't drink. Seriously, I'm extremely smug about it. I don't drink alcohol and neither should you because I like to force my things on everybody else. I... You drinking types are just despicable to me. Forgot how incredibly blind the guards are in, in these old games. It's, it's, it's funny, right? Because... The, because it's easy. <laughs> oh, man. So I can't go there, or there, or anywhere. But maybe I'll be able to do that later. I mean, I don't know. But I think I'm going to leave it here in this noisy room. So uh, see you guys next time, and bye for now. <laughs>